The Fort Wayne Ballet is the longest running professional ballet company and academy in Indiana. They focus on nurturing a passion for dance, providing safe and comprehensive training at all levels and ages. And I'm thrilled to speak with Karen Gibbons Brown, the artistic director, and Jim Sparrow, their executive director. Hello, Hello. welcome. Thanks for, Thanks for having us. us. Yes, absolutely. So dance is just such a beautiful thing and the Fort Wayne Dance Ballet um, offers just so many opportunities for the community and kids of all ages, not to mention the performances. So I'm so excited to dive in deeper and to learn about the dance company. So can you start off by sharing the mission and the vision of Fort Wayne Ballet? Well, the mission really is to create a passion for dance in a variety of ways. Um, uh, one of the things that I think most people don't know about Fort Wayne Ballet is it really is an all-inclusive dance organization where it does have the academy, but it has the professional company with professional performances. And that's something that is really um, at the core of our mission in terms of making sure that it's accessible to everyone, but the dance is for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. And kind of breaking down the three pillars, um, as you mentioned, so you all offer community classes, which is great, but you have your academy, which is the training, and then you have your professional dancers. So can you break down and kind of dive deeper into each of those different sectors? Sure. We have an academy program for students ages three and up. I think our oldest student is 85. Wow. So it's lifelong learning. <laughs> right. It's great. I love that. And you never not learn as you dance. Mm -hmm. uh, and those classes actually started this week, but sometimes they come once a week. Then we have a pre-professional program mm -hmm. for students who want to dance professionally or be in the dance field professionally. And those classes are six days a week with a pretty broad offering of things that they must take. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually this past year we placed four of our students around the country professionally. Oh, wow. So that was exciting for that us. That is. Yes. And then we have a wellness program that we've begun mm -hmm. for the lifelong learning, as I mentioned, where mm -hmm. you may come in and take ballet, Pilates, yoga. Um, I'll be leaving some things out. We have a beginning tap class. And if you have had no experience or a little experience or experience long ago, mm -hmm. that would be the place <laughs> to join us. Right. And then we have the professional company. And they're actually people from all over the world that mm. come to Fort Wayne to provide a season of performances. So they're starting to come back in town now. Yes. And they begin on September 5th. So here we go. <gasps> wow. Okay. So that's so cool. So you recruit from all over the world to create the performances that we get to see from, you know, the fall uh, performances, the love notes, I remember mm -hmm. earlier in February, and then of course the big nutcracker and performances right. in between. But I want to go back to something that you said. So through the training academy, you develop the dancers and then send them out right. to professional dance companies. And then the professional dance company that you have, you recruit in. Right. That's so cool, that back and forth. We do have some of our dancers that grow up through the program. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they go away and dance with other companies yes. and then return home. Mm -hmm. to work with us for a while, and that's really rewarding as well. That is. And so in addition to offering um, your dance classes and education, you just rolled out something new, right. your podcast and mm -hmm. blog. So share with me about that. Kinetic Conversations? Yes, Kinetic Conversations. Yes. So we, like I said earlier, we want to try to engage people where they are. Mm -hmm. And uh, we found that uh, podcasts, blogs, and various other things are easy opportunities, especially driving in the car. Uh, you can download our, our podcast and it will remind you uh, in terms of uh, favorite on Apple um, or any of the other podcast uh, services. And it's just a simple way to talk a little bit about dance, mm -hmm. but also to talk about maybe what's specifically happening at Fort Wayne Ballet. The blog is the same, and there'll be a variety of other things that we'll be rolling out along with these community classes that are really designed if you are intimidated by dance, don't be. Mm -hmm. We're trying to make sure that it's a situation where you can engage. Right, yes. And throughout the engagement, you both have quite a background in dance. So we give a little history, share about your passion with dance and how you started. Go ahead. <laughs> he, I don't think you have a background in dance. I have a background <laughs> in the arts. So my background in the arts, I, I have come to Fort Wayne Valley, been here for five years to be executive director. A lot of this was to help the organization continue to develop its professional company and uh, reputation, not only in Fort Wayne, but outside of that. But before that, um, I ran an arts council in North Carolina for five years. Uh, I ran Arts United here for eight years before that. And then was uh, actually, a uh, long time ago, was a professional musician and played with the Fort Wayne Philharmonic oh. years and years ago. So. Wow. Um, 
I've been in the arts in various parts of the country, but never directly in dance until this stint. Okay, that's exciting. I trained in South Carolina mm -hmm. and went away at a rather young age to dance at American Valley Theater in New York, mm -hmm. and then danced in San Francisco as well. Wow. And why I really wanted to be a professional dancer is I love to teach. That's really my passion mm -hmm. and sharing the art. I enjoyed dancing. It was wonderful. I'm thrilled to have had that experience, mm -hmm. but I really love being in the classroom. Yeah, and sharing that passion. Absolutely. Which is so great. And so, of course, the season just kicked off, as you said. Yes. So can you share about the upcoming performances? Sure. Our season tickler, or opening, is Wine Bar, and I think that's September 21st. Mm -hmm. And it's only one evening. We usually, we launched this program last year, mm -hmm. and it would be two evenings, but we are taking some of our dancers. We've been invited to perform at the Arpino Festival in Chicago. Oh, wow. So it's the same weekend. So we'll oh. do Oh, one performance okay. only, <laughs> then we're heading to Chicago. Uh, then we have Nutcracker, hard to believe. Oh, before Nutcracker. Before that, we, we have, have opening night. Oh my gosh, it's a thrilling opening oh. night. We're so lucky to be able to access works from around the world. You know, mm. you have to be approved and the company has to be of a certain quality. Mm -hmm. But we're doing three really beautiful ballets. One is an Arpino piece, Italian Suite. One is a piece by Agnes DeMille called Three oh. Virgins and a Devil. Mm -hmm. And it's a comedy piece. It's, mm -hmm. I saw it when I was about 15 and thought it was one of the funniest <laughs> things I'd ever seen. And then our last piece is Fancy Free which is oh. by Jerome Robbins, mm -hmm. and it's actually what based on the town. So the ballet came before the movie on the town, so mm -hmm. it's where ballet meets Broadway. Okay. It'll be a fun program. Mm -hmm. And then we have, of course, the Nutcracker, which mm -hmm. is beautiful and magical. Yes. And in the spring, we have Love Notes mm -hmm. in February. Then we have Romeo and Juliet. Oh, yes. And then we have Pints and what is it, Pints? And Pints on Point. Pints on Point, mm -hmm. which is a program similar to Wine Bar. Okay. And then we finish our season with a Firefly tour. Right. Oh. Which, where we go around the community mm -hmm. in different parts of the regions. Mm -hmm. so that and I, th I think one of the things to, to remind people, as we talked about the wellness program, there are a variety of things that are very uh, accessible for various mm -hmm. members of our community. Our family series is very popular. Okay. Uh, we do three performances. They're in our studios. It's really targeted for uh, children three to ten, but it's not just for them. In other words, it's a short program. It's about 25 minutes. Um, it's very uh, much something that you can bring a family member or somebody uh, who is maybe not familiar about ballet. It's a great sort of diving in point. Oh, I love that. And our family series, so that I've mentioned this, mm -hmm. we have, it's a trunk or treat in October for oh. children specifically. Mm -hmm. It's called Spooky and Kooky. <laughs> then they're doing Madeline. You might remember the story mm -hmm. from your childhood. Yes. And then they're doing Thumbelina. Okay, so yes. So it's where you sit, the children <laughs> sit on the floor up close to the dancers. Oh, and. I love that. I love that you all offer something for everyone at every stage of their life, at their, um, if they're a professional or if they just want to dance. Right. right. We just want to dance. That's what we want you to do. You dance yes. even when you walk down the street. You yes. just put it in French. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing more about this. Karen, Jim, it's a pleasure. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and you can learn more about the Fort Wayne Ballet and see their schedule of upcoming shows on their website. We'll have it listed below and we'll be right back.